This is a bad idea. Look, Brody was right. I'm not going to move on until I face what Cormac did head on. Felix. Brody is one of those modern day blokes who likes to talk about his feelings in a circle of trust. Something tells me that's not what you've got in mind. And I'm not going to lure Cormac here so you can get banged up for GBH. Oh, your concern is touching. Almost as touching as you locking me in the cupboard. All right. I said I was sorry about that. But you're my mate. I'm not going to sit back and watch you make the biggest mistake of your life. So you get to call out the bully, but I don't. I'm just asking for the same chance. And how do I know you're not going to lose control? Because you'll be there, if you want. I mean, me and you started in this thing, it only seems right that we ended it the same way. What do you say? Oh, excuse me, mate. You don't know where the garage is, do you? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, through the archway past the pub, you can't miss it. That's Warren Fox's garage, yeah? Tall fella, a bit like an ox, first like Wet Wednesday. <laughs> you clearly know him well. Yeah, well, me and Warren go way back. He was uh, running those little bean pole when I first met him. You could say I taught him everything he knows. Wait, are you Cormac? Cormac Ranger? Uh, the one and only. It's good to hear that Warren hasn't forgotten me. Oh, yeah. You know, I feel like I have met you already. Uh, listen, why don't I walk you to the garage, make sure you don't get lost? What, are you sure? Don't want to be a bother? <sighs> don't worry. Won't take long. Oh, here he is. Former junior heavyweight champion of Moston. <laughs> How are you doing, lad? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Listen, Cormac, the kettle's just boiled. Why don't you nip inside and we'll have a proper catch-up? Cheers. So, this is what Warren Fox's version of closure looks like. But please tell me you're just going to talk to him. I thought this is what you wanted. Three blokes sat around talking about the feelings. Three. What is Felix in there, Warren? Swear to me you're not going to do anything stupid. Look, I appreciate your concern. But this is a private reunion, and you're not invited. Oh, it's good to see you again, son. We should have done this years ago. I was thinking the same thing. You made my childhood a living nightmare. All because I was black. And no one's leaving here until you admit it. Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I was tough on you sometimes, I admit it. You want me to cry? Say I'm sorry. You were out of control. Some kids need a firmer hand. Like black kids. Oh. Yeah. You know, I... I was the only one in the home that wasn't white. I already felt like I didn't belong. But you, you made me feel like I couldn't belong anywhere. You haven't changed a bit, have you? Wasn't my fault that you started it. it. Was you used to give Warren a daily beating. I didn't make you enjoy that. You did it because you were rotten to the core. Oh, Felix was just a scared little kid last year now. I mean, what is your excuse, eh? You are not going to weasel your way out of this one. It's like that old saying he used to have. What was it again? Never start a fight. You can't finish. So what? You're going to beat up an old man for, for a few clips around the year I gave you 30 years ago? Oh, it's not about the beatings. It's not about being locked in a cupboard. No, the worst scars you gave me are here. You know, I walked out on a woman that loved me because you said no one ever could. Abandon my own kids! Because you said I'd never have a family. I mean, my life was ruined before it even started. Well, because you made me feel like I was born the wrong colour. But I have a daughter. I have a daughter? Yeah. Why'd you do it? Look, I think... Why'd you do it? I didn't... No, no, don't, don't, don't look at him. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? Yesterday! Why? Because you were black! There it is. Picking on you! Hitting you! All of it! I did it because you were black!
was young and very angry. It was a different time back then. I believe things that... that make me ashamed now. Cody, I apologize. I will regret everything I did till the day I die. Felix, what I did to you, you didn't deserve. From the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. What I said yesterday, I didn't mean a word of it. It's you who should be groveling, because I've got nothing to apologize for. You want to hear something pathetic? When you came here, <laughs> I was hoping that you were innocent. Because the Cormac that I knew, the one that taught me to stand up to bullies, there's no way he could be one himself. I'm still the same man. Man who bought your first pair of boxing gloves. No. <sighs> that man never existed. Only a sick, twisted lowlife. He used to beat up a poor, defenseless little kid for being black. Which makes what I'm about to do to you a whole lot easier. Word stop! He deserves everything he gets. Not enough of this white savior routine. This is never about you. You're right. And you're lucky. You know, I'll never know if you're truly sorry. I mean, let's face it, you'll say anything to get out of here. Honestly, I don't care. I remember you telling me once that none of my lot could ever make a success of themselves. It kind of became like a self-fulfilling prophecy of mine, but only it didn't work. I've got family, friends who care about me. All the things you said I could never have. I beat you, old man. That scared, scrawny little black boy has beaten you by living. 